Hello, hello, I'm back with the second part of this tutorial and we're going to be looking at the blending mode in this video. So in the previous tutorial we cut out our flowers and we placed them onto our background. So as you can see over here we have our two layers. I've just gone ahead and unlocked the background layer and we're going to change the effect of this flower against our background. Now. Um, I don't know necessarily all of the technical terms in Photoshop, but there are five sections under this blending mode. Um, the top ones are fairly straightforward and um, Dissolve, I don't find, works very well on a lot of images. This little section here will darken your image. This one will lighten your image. This one changes the light, opacity, things like that on your image. Um, this one here, I'm not really sure what to call it, but you do get some lovely effects. And this bottom one tends to deal with the colour. Obviously, we've got the hue and saturation there. Luminosity is often a really, really good one. Now, what you can do is, multiply is always one of my favourites. You can just click on that and you will see it has absolutely darkened my image. If we go to one of the lightened ones, screen is quite good. That's quite nice, like that. And we can just pick any of these to play around with our um, effect and the image that we've got. The other way to actually scroll through, if I go back to normal, to scroll through all of these, if you make sure you have your move tool selected, hold down shift on your keyboard, keep that held down and just hit the plus or minus button. And that will scroll through all of the different effects in your blend mode. So that, oh, lighten isn't a lot of good, is it? <laughs> you will literally, neither is light in colour, um, you will literally be able to see all of the effects you'll get using that blending mode. So um, let's have a look. That's quite nice. I like that. There's a lot you could do with that. That's your hue, saturation, colour and luminosity. Wow, that's my favourite. Absolutely love that. So um, that's us scrolling through all of those blending modes. You can get so many different effects and it will absolutely depend on the images you're using, but I would absolutely recommend. So I've used the word absolutely a lot. I would absolutely, absolutely go ahead and have a little play because this blending mode is absolutely awesome. And I think I've said that word enough now. So <laughs> I'm going to say it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I probably need to re-record this. Um, but once you've layered your two images, make sure you're working on the top layer when you use your blending mode. And just have a go, have a play. And I hope you found this short tutorial useful. I will see you again very soon.